Hello, John. Thank you so much for watching today. We got some mystery packs that we're going to open up. Uh, all of these, they have a bit of a theme, bit of a theme. Some new ones, some old ones. We're going to start with a classic, which is Ricky Martin. You know we can't get enough of the Ricky Martin. Why? Because we love, we live in La Vida Loca. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Now, there are only three different cards in the set. Hopefully, we get them. There are five cards a pack. Um, very stuck together, these cards. So, we have uh, Ricky Martin in a white sweater. Okay. This one's upside down. Ricky Martin do, uh, doing his little squatting stuff. He, he likes to squat, doing squats. This was a profile. Let's see if there's any information about Ricky Martin. Which... Oh, it's trivia. It's a pop quiz. Which former Menudo member has remained one of Ricky's closest friends and the co-writer and co-producer of countless Martin songs and albums? Pop quiz answer. If you said Robbie Draco Rosa, you'd be right. You'd be right. Did you say that? And we got the best of Ricky Martin. So it's in color. And this one's in color. That's how we know it's the best of. Um, though he now lives in the United States and records his music in English, Ricky's heart remains in his native land. He has taped several television commercials promoting tourism in Puerto Rico and considers the island his true home. That's cool. Oh, hello, Ricky Martin. Whoa, look at this. Sun's out, guns out, I guess, you know. Hey, props, props to you, props to you. And oh, that's probably the best one yet. I wonder if this, you can get this in a live in La Vida Loca. So uh, we're gonna just quickly check to see if there's any serialized numbers here because this set does have them. I've never seen one um, and they have facsimile signatures on the ones that have so nothing there on the ones that have the the serialized numbers uh next one we've got a new one here silly cds so we're gonna be able to open some silly cds like parodies of of albums from the year 2001 i believe uh let's find out let's find out let's okay it says collect the entire set the Silly CD's Premiere Edition has 33 different tiles, uh, I'm sorry, 33 different titles, 36 different puzzle pieces, for 6 different puzzles, and 11 different stickers randomly inserted. Visit www.sillycds.com and it's got a parody advisory silly content. Well, if you're here, you probably like silly content. I opened a couple packs of this on the side. Oh, this is a puzzle piece, but it's a good piece of the puzzle. It's a funny piece of the puzzle here. Um, and that's uh, Britney Spears, I think. So those were our puzzle pieces. And then these are, these are our cards. We got a uh, Pristina Aguilera. <laughs> I just get an egg. Genie in an egg show. Oh, it's like cheating in a bucket, but it's an egg. Uh, come on over easy. All I want is goo. All right. That's, I mean, they take things too far sometimes. We've got to spit any beers. Spit any beers. <laughs> uh, this is Bartender one more time. Featuring Oops, I Threw Up Again, You Drive Me to Drink, from the bottom of my broken bottle, Thinking about brew. So if you have a, any a problem with alcohol addiction, I'm sorry. And our, our last um, card is the Nixon Chicks. Tonight, the break-ins on me. I'll take care of checkers, loving armaments, lied open spaces. The backs of the cards all look the same. They're just ads for the cards, and then it gives you the name of the card and the card number. But these backs are all the same. So that was Silly CDs. 
I mean, this one was good until it, went, it took it too far. It took it too far, you know? Alright, so far, like, no hits. I would say no hits. But that's okay, because we won our hits in the last couple packs. These are the good ones. These are the best ones. We got NSYNC. It's a top set. You get five foiled cards, one sticker, and one rainbow prism card in every pack. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I, what I say. That's worth it. You know you get a lot of special stuff in the pack. You get a lot of the good stuff. You get less of the bad stuff. That's what I want. That's what, wow. Wow, we opened a, a, a straight up bomb. Pack one, a straight up absolute atomic bomb here. We got JT in, I don't know if this is the rainbow foil or the regular foil, but it is, oh man, that's front page binder material. Get out. Stop! What are they all gonna be like this? We can get the whole NSYNC in one pack? We got Joey. And we got someone stuck to Joey, unfortunately. Oh, I just saw this guy on the masked singer. Spoiler alert. Oh, and then we got the we got the whole squad too. We got all of NSYNC there. These cards look phenomenal. These are these are straight fire cards. These are the best looking cards I've seen since we started doing, since Shrek, I have not seen a card that looks this good. And Sync. Hmm. And then we have a blue parallel. It's a, it's a different picture of Christopher Allen Kirkpatrick. So I don't know, I don't believe that's the rainbow foil either. I believe the rainbow foil is still coming up. Oh, wow. Wait, is there another card here? Feel, yeah, there is another card here. Wow, we got a lot of Chris Kirkpatrick. A lot of Chris Kirkpatrick in this pack. So that would be, that'll be our rainbow. So Chris Kirkpatrick, uh, he was on The Masked Singer recently. We got four of him. Five if you include the group shot. But it doesn't matter because all you need is one JT. That's all we need. All of these are for trade. All the Chris Kirkpatricks. So, so far, our best looking card, I believe, is the the JT. But we have a set here that's that's already proven proven itself once, uh, and that's Hollywood Zombies. Now we had some really good looking cards, but we didn't get any hits. But the set was awesome last time we opened this. So I'm gonna open it because it is October, and. Uh, you know, this is my last pack that I wanted to open uh, of this set, so and it's going to be done now. It was t it was a tough decision. Let me tell you, it was a tough decision. So let's see what we got. Dick Stark and Ryan Seepcrust. Really cool. Artwork's amazing. Great choice of characters I here. We're gonna take a quick look at the back here. And then there's an Entertainment Freakly article. Not sure if you'll be able to read that or not. And then we have Tom Ooze. We got the Tom Cruise card. He's freaking out all the people he knows like he normally does. Alright, and then we got maybe an ad. They're rich, they're famous, they're dead. Hollywood zombies trading cards. Shocking scenes, bone chilling art. Frighteningly funny. Oh, it's the checklist. We opened the checklist. What a garbage card. I want zombies. What is this? Nicole Retchie. Nicole Retchie. Oh, it's I guess it's a special card. Oh, this is a glow-in-the-dark mud shot. So Hollywood zombies are known to be gory, turn out the lights and reveal more of the story. Oh, oh. Yep, 
Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I tried it. Tried to get this the glow in the dark. Maybe I'll figure out how to do that later. We got Deddy Murphy. All the characters Deddy Murphy's played. That's a cool one, actually. You got a lot of you got a lot of options there. You got a lot of artwork on that card. Samuel Hell Jackson. Holy smokes, look at him. Snakes on a face. He got snakes on the face. And then we have Patrick Dumpsey. He's from uh, Grey's Anatomy, I guess. Or ER. Or one of those procedural hospital shows. Sexiest man not alive. Oof. Plus Russell Croak and Buried Pitt. Cool. Alright, so that is... That is it for our opening today. Let me know what you think the hit was. And if you're interested in any of these cards, they're all for trade. The rules for trading with me are in the about section, as well as the best way to get in contact with me. If you're wondering what I'm interested in, pretty much anything, you know, just hit me with an offer and we'll work something out. We're more likely to be able to get a trade going than not. Let me just say that. All right, take care everybody. Bye bye <laughs>